For the 2023 SCAC Softball Tournament Championships in San Antonio, Texas on the campus of Trinity University, we are here with the winner's bracket champions, the University of St. Thomas Celts, with a big win today, 8-3 to over Trinity University, advancing to the program's first ever SCAC title game. I'm here with third baseman Jalen Simmons, along with head coach Angela Frobase and coach Jalen. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jalen, we'll start with you. Uh, a phenomenal performance uh, once again today, not only offensively, but defensively. A couple of plays uh, when it really mattered. You came up huge at the hot corner, two for three, three runs scored today. Phenomenal. Just your thoughts on your performance and how you're able to be so successful out there. Um, I think I did good. Um, I feel like I could have done a little bit better, but at the end of the day, I left it all on the field and I put my 100% in what I can do. And I just trusted my teammates with everything I have. Coach, uh, a huge win obviously put you in a, a really solid position going into championship Sunday. Just speak to your team today, how they were able to, to keep their focus, go through the lightning delay, kind of have some things sort of out of our control that this group was able to stay focused, come out, execute, and, and head into championship Sunday. Well, we've done a lot of that this year where we put them in charge of themselves, and so they kept each other entertained. Um, there were times by the third delay, I think we were all ready for a nap, but uh, you know, once we knew it was getting ready to go, they, they got hyped, they got ready, and uh, never had a doubt as far as being ready to play. Um, you know, I think Jalen just said it. They feel like they can always do more, even though they're doing a great job, and that hunger is what keeps driving us to do better and better and taking it to the next level. Jalen, a year ago, you were here as a freshman. You were part of the program's first ever SEC tournament win. Now, a year later in your sophomore season, this program headed to the SEC championship for the first time uh, in history. You know, how does that feel just hearing it out loud? And, and what needs to happen tomorrow for this group to, to ultimately become SEC champions? It feels really amazing. I know the whole team is, is excited, and I'm just very happy to be going to the cha championship tomorrow. Um, I feel like we just need to bring it all that we have and leave everything on the field because that is what we're here for. This is what we came to do. This is what we've been practicing for, and we just need to get it done. And, Coach, finally for you, uh, you know, back to the SEC championship with the new team. You've had experience there. You know, what have you learned uh, over the time of, of your career that, that will help you know, with this group? What will the message be you know, having had that experience heading into tomorrow? I think what we've done so far, one play at a time. Um, there's going to be a beginning potentially for somebody. But if you can maintain it and stick to what you do, because we think what we do is really good, then we can come out on top. And so we've been talking about it all year. No one expected us. I think we were picked fourth by some people this year. Um, we know that, right? So we know no one expected us to be here. We're the only ones who did. So we're going to continue with that mantra that, uh, you know, no one expects us to win tomorrow either. So why should it change now except for what we believe? And so we're going to go in with our best game plan and uh, see what we can do. University of St. Thomas Celts march into championship Sunday with a nice win today in the winner's bracket tournament final, 8-3 to three over the Trinity University Tigers. Jalen Simmons, of course, a huge part of that win, along with head coach Angela Frobase. Jalen, coach, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.